Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> um, welcome to the business of a modern healer. And I am really, really excited to, to share this particular module because it's essential. Um, things are like constantly changing in, in our whole like wellness landscape. And what was appropriate which myself and Holly were talking about this yesterday. Um, what was appropriate in terms of like doing business six months ago and a year ago or five years ago just doesn't apply, right? Some of the standard things in owning a business or being an entrepreneur are really basic and they can still apply to the work that you do. But then the moment that the environment changes, i.e. the landscape of social media, which we will get into a lot, shifts and changes, we have to somehow figure out how to maneuver within those shifts and changes. And that's really what this, this session is about, how to create a really solid foundation for yourself as a healer, um, but just as a yoga practitioner. Um, we are out there giving and doing so much and it's absolutely essential for us to lead with authenticity um, and be really, really connected to who we are as individuals. And if we aren't, then we're just following everybody else. Yeah. And that's the thing that we don't want to do. Um, and as I mean, you guys know, and I'll probably mention Holly a lot during our training because I don't do this alone, meaning the yoga studio. The one thing that we're constantly saying is that we don't really care about what everybody else is doing. <laughs> Actually, we don't give a fuck about what everybody else is doing, let's be real. We can only concern ourselves with what we do and, and how we do it best while also listening to our clients and responding to the, the external landscape um, and not reacting to the external landscape. And the only way that you don't react is if you are solid and you're completely connected to who you are. Make sense? So, close your eyes. <clears throat> and just start to take a couple of deep breaths in and out of your nose. And allow yourself to feel rooted and grounded into the earth and, of course, allow the crown of your head to rise to the heavens. Soften your shoulders. Feel your breath moving in and moving out. And I want you to just simply think about why you were here for this, beyond the fact that, oh, I'm enrolled in yoga teacher training, but why are you in this present moment serving in a capacity as a yoga teacher, as a healer? How are you fully present and this insane landscape of the wellness community. And what does that look for you? How does that look for you? And so as we move into this weekend together, not just today's session, but tomorrow with April, and then Sunday,
I want you to allow your minds to be open. Just receive the information not only from us, but all of your counterparts, colleagues, and fellow teachers around the room. And take in that information, however it resonates and lands with you. And utilize it in a way that will support your work both on and off the mat, in the studio, in the community, in your daily life. Breathe in. Oh. Open your eyes, yeah. So before, actually I'm gonna take these bracelets off because I don't want them dinging and knocking against things.